Hi, I'm Nikki, and this is Startup Divas. Being a paralegal is a great career choice. There are a variety of different jobs and different areas of law to focus on. But what is a paralegal? Here's a funny family story. When my niece, Chelsea, was around 14, she asked me what my job was. When I told her, she said, nobody knows what a paralegal does. A paralegal is a job you tell people you have when your real job is a stripper. <laughs> I promise being a paralegal is a legit and reputable position. Although I do still joke with Chelsea from time to time about how something recently happened with my job as a stripper. I mean, paralegal. Not only is being a paralegal a real job, there are several different areas of law where you can make a difference. Litigation, intellectual property, real estate and corporate are just a few of the areas. There are also a variety of job opportunities for paralegal work. You may choose to work at the courthouse, government agencies, and different types of law firms from small sole proprietors up to even global big law firms. There are also legal departments within public and private companies. We call those in-house legal jobs. Skilled and experienced paralegals are in high demand. If you do a job search for paralegal opportunities or legal assistant jobs, you'll find many available positions throughout the country and actually international as well. I have personally had great success finding multiple paralegal positions at law firms and in-house. It's also a very transferable skill set. But what kind of skills and education are needed to pursue a paralegal position or career? An online search can provide you with information on each state's requirements. For example, the State Bar Association of California requires paralegals have a bachelor's degree in any field of discipline, plus one year experience under a licensed California state attorney. If you do not have a bachelor's degree, you can also complete an American Bar Association approved paralegal certificate training program. Many community colleges in California have paralegal certificate programs. Different bar associations in other states may have different requirements for being a paralegal. In Idaho, for example, there is no certification required. However, most employers are going to want you to have at least a bachelor's degree or have completed an ABA approved paralegal certificate program unless you have a background or experience being a paralegal. Paralegaledu.org seems to be a good resource for finding online requirements for each state. Of course, a job posting for a paralegal position will also list the education and experience requirements. Last year, when I checked with the California State Bar Association, they were not allowing paralegal certificate programs to be completed completely online. However, there could be some exceptions during this quarantine for you to get your paralegal certificate online. You may wanna investigate and take advantage of any opportunities that might be available right now. Just make sure any paralegal certificate program you attend is ABA accredited. So again, what do paralegals do? Well, essentially a paralegal provides support and assistance to attorneys. They can do clerical work such as administrative tasks, photocopying, filing documents with government agencies. They can also prepare documents, manage projects, and do research. There is such a variety of opportunities available and options for using your skills in various areas of law. Although paralegals can assist clients and provide information, they cannot provide legal advice. That is the job of the attorney. Much of my time has been spent in corporate and securities law. I have been fortunate to have some amazing mentors to learn from along the way in my career. I take joy in teaching and mentoring others, which is one of the main reasons for Startup Divas. One focus of this channel is to provide learning and growth opportunities to paralegals working in the startup world. Some of the topics we will cover are forming startup companies, working with founders, investors, and attorneys, private equity financings, securities research and filings, and other topics that a corporate startup paralegal would be responsible for. We look forward to being able to give back to the legal community and help others in the way that we have been helped. So please like and subscribe and add your questions to our channel. We look forward to serving and supporting you on your paralegal journey.